and this is the thin plate thin conducting plate used uh, as the electric heater you know the uh, electric current flowing in the conductor cause the electric losses and the losses cause the heating of the conductor so our task here is to calculate the temperature distribution in the in this plate this this is the steel plate the steel foil the electric the, we know the electric conductivity of the material we know the thermal conductivity we know the convection coefficient from this this plate is cooled by the air flowing around and the ambient air temperature is 0 degrees Celsius our task is to calculate the resistance, the ground distribution and the temperature of this film heater let's start with the electric part This is the geometry model and this is the DC conduction problem. The plate, the film width is one millimeter. The electric conductivity is 10, to 10 meg mega siemens per meter. And on the left side, we has the electric potential of minus 100 volts. And on the right side, we have the electric potential of 1 plus, of plus 100 volt. And our task, the first part of our task, is to calculate the current distribution. This problem is already simulated, so I will just open the field picture. I will adjust the field picture again and switch on the current density vectors and the color map of the electric potential. Here you can see how the current flows in the plate. We know the current density we know the electric conductivity, we can calculate the losses. Again, I will adjust the field picture and switch on the drill heat color map. You see, the higher the current density, the higher the losses. The next part of our task is to calculate the temperature distribution. In fact, this is the three-dimensional problem. The plate is cooled from all sides. But we know the trick. You can substitute the convection from the front side and from the back side with the negative volt negative heat source you may note that the equation that describes the convection the convection heat flux this is the convection coefficient this is the temperature difference and this is the 
surface area. This is the convection from the front and the back side together. The convection heat flux. And this is the heat sink which could not which could be not only the constant value but could be also the function of the temperature. The volume heat sink. We can adjust the coefficient so that the volume heat sink will take this same as the con natural convection. So let me show you how this trick is, is done. Back to quick field. So I need to calculate the uh, temperature and transfer the losses from the electric problem to the transient problem. You can see the losses are not uniformly distributed in this plate. And the best way to transfer the losses is to create the coupled problem where the one problem is linked to the another problem. So I create here the new problem, the, the thermal part. This would be the steady state heat transfer problem. This thermal part will use this same geometry model as the DC conduction part. And of course it should have the same model class and the thickness. Now this is the steady state heat transfer problem based on the same geometry model. as my DC conduction problem. Steady state DC conduction and they share the same geometry model file. In heat transfer problem I should specify thermal properties. I have the convection on all sides of the plate. The convection coefficient is 10 and the ambient temperature is 0. These two sides are connected to Electric circuit, so there are no convection from these from the left and from the right side. And for the bar, I should specify the thermal conductivity, which is three hundred eighty and two specify the convection from the front size and from the back size I will use the negative volume power source this power source will depend on the temperature. And all I need to know is this coefficient that can be calculated using the convection coefficient and the thickness of the plate. So for zero temperature there will be no 
no heat flux and for the 100 ampere I specify the heat source you can see now I have the volume power heat source is a function of temperature and using this trick I will simulate the convection from the front and from the back side now I have the geometry moderator and materials properties ready and next I should import the power losses from electric problem to the thermal problem so I open the thermal problem properties and follow to the link step here I choose the data link type the generated heat and select the problem that contains the this type of data I add the link now it's present in the tree you see that the thermal problem is now linked to the electric problem and the general heat is transferred from the electric problem to the thermal problem and now I can run this simulation here you can see the temperature distribution in the in this film heater where the current was great the temperature is great too but it's good conductor so the temperature difference is not so drastically as the difference in the current density and the dual heat value you may note that the that the plate was heated by the by about 4 degrees and you know that the electric conductivity depends on the temperature so we can iterate through these two problems we can open the electric conductivity problem specify the temperature here specify that the electric conductivity is function of temperature for zero temperature it's 10 mega siemens and for high temperature the conductivity will be will be lower the higher the temperature the lower the conductivity we can run the simulation again get the new value of the joule heat distribution and run the thermal problem again and get the new temperature and we can repeat this iteration several times to get the actual temperature and the actual joule heat produced in the film heater at this temperature 